Hello healers and health seekers. Happy New Year. It's me, Hichoda, making a video about my healing journey with medical medium information. It is a, I guess it's a What's Up Wednesday video because I just want to give an update on what's been going on with me lately. I just had the urge to talk about things. Ah, what am I healing from on my medical medium healing journey? I am healing from mast cell activation disorder, dysautonomia POTS, gone, um, migraines, fibromyalgia, gone, so many other symptoms and conditions, gone. I've made videos about that. Those are in the description box below. Uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, all that stuff. I want to talk today about my healing journey because the last video I made, despite having posted it, just recently i think i made it like two weeks prior or a week prior i'm not sure it seems to just take me forever to do anything these days and editing videos seems to be one of the hardest things um it isn't it's just hard to i don't know it, does anyone else feel like they're just kind of in survival mode lately and it's just like you're just doing what you can we're all just doing our best. We're just doing what we can to kind of keep things going. Uh, all the snorks and n noises and snuffles you hear in the background are muffins, my pug, who is behind me. Doing whatever she do. So I think she found um, her Kong toy, which doesn't have anything in it, but it probably smells like stuff that it's had in it. So she's... She, She's really working hard on that. Okay, this is what she was after. Freeze-dried durian. The bag still smells like it. Um, I ate a bag and the bag got left in this bedroom. I, The cat was trying to eat the bag because he likes to chew bags and he actually really loves freeze-dried durian for some weird reason. I think he just likes the freeze-dried things because they're kind of crunchy. I don't know. He loves freeze-dried durian though. I love freeze-dried durian. My husband gave me this for Christmas. We got it at Costco. It is just dried durian and it's all of the flavor of durian without any of the sulfur smell. So it literally tastes like freeze-dried custard. It is so good and it's candy to me. I'm sure that once it's freeze-dried it probably has very little nutritional value and it really is just candy. And it's very expensive, these bags. Um, I think they're like 15 bucks a bag. It's not cheap. So we don't buy it often. My husband had bought it once and uh, I loved it so much. And so he bought me a bag for Christmas because I'm like, well, we're not going to buy that regularly. It's just too expensive and it doesn't offer a ton of nutrition. There's no living water in it. But for Christmas, it was really good. So it's this, it's freeze dried durian. There's literally, that's all that's in it. And we got it at Costco, so they might still have it anyway. The dog and the cat both freaking love it also, but it's mine, it's all for me. And um, I do give them bites anyway. So I think that's what she was trying to get. And now she's, I don't know what she's doing. She buried her Kong in a blanket. Okay, so that's the story about the durian. That's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, some things have happened since I shot the last video. So I made the last video and it took me a long time to upload. So that's given time things to happen. What? Things time to happen. My brain is currently offline. Okay. So <laughs> what did happen is I pulled a muscle in my leg, which is why I was eating durian in the bedroom because I was laid up in the bedroom. So I, was, I don't even know how I did it. One day there was just like a sort of a spot of pain in my leg and then I was, and it wasn't impeding anything that I was doing so I kind of ignored it and then I was walking up the stairs at one point and I felt this sort of twinge where the spot was and then the spot got bigger and then I couldn't walk. So that was, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was super painful to like stand up and I couldn't sit because the it's on the back of my leg at the top so I guess in my hamstrings and so I couldn't sit and I couldn't walk so I just kind of laid in bed for a couple days and uh, medical medium pr 
pr has previously posted a podcast. Um, you can find it on Apple Podcasts, but it's about healing injuries. And he talked about for certain kinds of injuries to uh, put heat on it in the morning and ice at night. So I did that. And then within a couple days, it was totally fine. And it's fine now. But that is why I was eating in my bedroom because I was laid up in bed. All my stories are long stories. So the other thing since making the last video is I did finish round 12 of the 369 cleanse, advanced 369 cleanse, and I always feel so good on that cleanse. And it just feels like the way I should be eating all the time for my liver. So I try to actually do it as much as possible. And even when I'm not on the cleanse, I kind of do, it's like I do the cleanse until dinner. And I found that that supports me the best. So I'll have the lemon water in the morning. Um, I have lemon honey water because for some weird reason, I still for to this day cannot drink straight lemon water. It's got to have honey in it or it kind of hurts my throat, especially in winter. So I still have honey in my lemon water. Then I have the celery juice. 30 minutes later. Then I have the heavy metal detox smoothie 30 minutes after that. I should say, right before I have my heavy metal detox smoothie, I take my B12, then I take my other tinctures, then I have my heavy metal detox smoothie. Then after that, uh, for a snack, I will have applesauce, the blended applesauce, and I have that with celery and dates. Because again, I don't know what it is with me and textures of food, but the apples, if I just blend them plain, I can't eat them. And I, I don't know how to explain that. It's like, it's like something with the texture. It's not the flavor. It's something with the texture. I, I don't understand it. No matter how smoothly I blend them, I don't, I don't know what that is. So I have to add a little bit of... Well, I could do it without the celery, but I, I just like to put the celery in because then it makes it a complete adrenal snack. So I have it with dates and celery. Then for lunch, I will have spinach soup. And if I'm still hungry after lunch, I'll have the apple sauce again. So I do that. And then at dinner time, I will have, this is my favorite dinner lately and I will eat it as much as I can. I will have a bed of greens, salad greens, with a steamed potato. I'll have two big steamed potatoes on a big bowl of greens. And it's usually just lettuce, but this last time I bought this like salad green mix or spring green mix or whatever, so it's a bunch of different stuff. Oh, and on that I put the medical medium raw sriracha sauce, like two, I guess it's two tablespoons, maybe a little more, I guess three tablespoons, and I will put the juice of half of a lemon and a, the equivalent amount of maple syrup. And I mix that all up, and it is my favorite thing to eat. It's simple, but it's so crazy delicious, and I have lately just want things simple. Now, so that's what I'll have when I'm not on the cleanse, and the reason I'm not on the cleanse right now is because it was just Christmas, and I was making all of these medical medium recipes that include grains and a little bit of fat stuff I don't usually eat at all um, but I was making those for my family and I thought well I'm not gonna try to be cleansing on Christmas so for dinner I made I took no photos of any of the food that I made otherwise I'd be like putting photos up so you could see what it looked like but I didn't take photos because I was busy making it and eating it and I just felt it's you know I don't know about you guys, but I find it very difficult to document all of the things I'm doing and put them on social media and also do the things. I don't know how people who put their whole lives on social media do it because I cannot, cannot do it. Like, I'm like, I don't have time to stop and take photos of every single thing that I do or make or eat. How do people do that? I could understand if it was... You know, because I can do it once in a while, but I can't do it on the regular, on a daily basis. I wish I could. It'd be great to be like, oh, look, here's what I'm doing. You know, it's just as like an example. But I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> um, I just can't 
manage it. So anyway, I did not take any photos. So I'll just tell you what I had. Um, so I made a, a drunken noodle dish for them for dinner. Um, well, for me too. And the base of it is like a stock. So I made the liver rescue broth as the base. And what I didn't use in the drunken noodle dish, I put in the fridge or freeze it into ice cubes for use for later. And so I made a big pot of that liver rescue broth. And then um, the drunken noodles, it's like a, I guess that's a Thai noodle dish. And so I use Thai rice noodles and we don't usually ever eat rice noodles because we don't eat rice and we don't usually eat any grains. But I have let, like I'll make stuff sometimes with oat flour for my son and my husband. Because medical medium has said, if you're gonna eat grains, oat, oats and millet, gluten-free oats and millet are the best ones to have. So they've got some something to them that makes them okay. You just, if you're healing, you don't wanna eat a lot of grains because they aren't a healing food and they take up space. They take up a lot of space that could be occupied by healing foods that will actually help you heal as opposed to just taking up space in your body. <laughs> and we have so many meals in our lifetime, so you wanna fill them with healing foods as much as possible. I know I do. For Christmas though, I made the drunken noodles. I also made the medical medium Dutch apple pie. I made medical mediums ginger snaps. I made medical mediums lemon snaps. And I made medical medium, oh and not and, I made medical medium oatmeal raisin cookies and I made the medical medium pumpkin bread and I added raisins to it because it's so good that way. And the cookies I made kind of on different days. I'm I thinking I'm either going to try like, anyway, I've got some fresh raspberries. So I want to try one of his raspberry cookie recipes. I'm not sure which one. I might do the thumbprint cookies because those seem the easiest right now. Because the Linsner cookies are what I had ambitiously wanted to make. And now I'm thinking... That's more effort than I can manage. So I might just make the raspberry thumbprint cookies and make it easy on myself. And, but not for me, for them. Uh, Cause I'm gonna <laughs> start round 13 of the 369 Advanced Cleanse tomorrow. Tomorrow being Tuesday. I don't know when I'll get this video edited and posted. What is tomorrow the 28th? So it's the full moon tomorrow, Tuesday, the 28th of December. And what better time to start a cleanse? Anyway, my friend and I were like, I was going to start it anyway. And I said, hey, want to start with me? And she's like, I think I'll start on Tuesday. That's the full moon. And I was like, okay, sure. Let's do it. So the drunken noodles, the version I made for them, it does include coconut aminos and the rice noodles. And so I just made a version for me that instead of coconut aminos, I just used the healing liver rescue broth and just more maple syrup to make up for not having any salty stuff in it and then I used zucchini noodles instead of the rice noodles and it was so delicious I put a bunch of mushrooms and I really even think I could have put more mushrooms I wanted it to be like a really mushroom heavy dish and I used a ton of mushrooms like all different kinds of mushrooms but I think it would have been better with even more mushrooms. <laughs> anyway, so mushrooms and broccoli, red pepper, uh, onions. It was really, really good. I really liked it. It was a recipe that I found on the internet and like for vegan drunken noodles. I modified it for the way I eat and it came out delicious. So I will have to write up the recipe properly and post it and make it again and take a p picture this time so I can post the recipe. That's why I don't post half the recipes I make is because I don't take pictures. And I mean to and then I forget because I'm just busy making stuff and I get in a zone or whatever I do. And then I'm hungry and then we eat. So we got to have Christmas with family because we live with family. Um, we live with my in-laws and so we did get to spend Christmas with them. So that's good. So food for the holiday and we still haven't gone and looked at Christmas lights so we're going to try to do that tonight because it's one of my favorite things to do. And I love when people go out all, all out on 
Christmas lights and stuff like that. I'm not one of those people because that takes a lot of effort and energy and time and I don't have that. Uh, just it's, I don't, I'm not able to do things like that, but I so appreciate people who can and who do. I appreciate people putting all this effort into just doing something that's going to bring joy to them, but also to the people who witness it and see it. So anyway, I want to go drive around and appreciate those people's work tonight. It's a tradition we do every year. I drag my family out and make them go look at Christmas lights and they pretend they are like, oh, well, whatever, it's fine. I don't care, but they love it. They love it. They do. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, I wasn't even finished. So we ate this food. I ate some of this food on Christmas. Okay, so I didn't, I did actually try their noodles with a couple of bites of, I, again, I just, I haven't eaten grains in such a long time. And I've been feeling good and stable and, and well lately, so I can afford to be a little more lax. I'm not going to go eating no foods because that is not, what I'm about. I'm not trying to feed the pathogens in my body and go back to being sick, but I can eat grains a little bit if I want to. And I'm not going to start eating them every day or anything like that. But I did take a couple bites of their drunken noodles because I wanted to see how it was. It was really good. I was like, I did good with this recipe. It was really good. <laughs> Uh, cause it was a recipe I hadn't made before and I don't know what possessed me to be like, I'm going to make this even though I've never made it before and we don't know if we're going to like it. It worked out. And I tried the cookies. Oh my goodness. And I can only do a little bit. I really can't like, <sighs> there was a time in my life where I could have eaten a bunch of cookies at a sitting, but I can really not tolerate it now. Like even eating like half of one cookie, my body was like, what is this weird oily flavor? Like it didn't like the oil. Even my taste buds were kind of like, oh, this tastes weird. I mean, the cookies were delicious. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not, I'm just not used to eating oil at all. So it was weird to me. Um, but they were delicious. I did have, I had a couple of the ginger snaps and I had one of the lemon snaps and I had a few of the oatmeal raisin because I always loved oatmeal raisin cookies and oh my gosh they were so good <laughs> they were so good honestly every medical medium recipe that we had like all of the baked goods were delicious but oatmeal raisin man oh my gosh and but I was also careful and really paid attention to my body because I know it's kind of like I know when I can sort of get away with something like I did with, you know, the cookies, but I also know when like, I'm not going to be able to do this and this is not good and don't do it. And of course I could feel the difference after eating them. Like I felt like mm, much more tired the next day. I needed more rest and downtime, but still, Again, it just keeps improving over time where my resilience after doing anything or having exposure or eating something that I couldn't do before, it's like my energy levels because I did two rounds of the cleanse before Christmas. That's why I could get away with a little bit of splurging. And I didn't go all out. I didn't have like a full meal of the rice noodles and I didn't, Actually, I didn't cook any of the savory meals with fat because I was making those cookies and the cookies all had like a little, as cookies go, they had a very small amount of fat, I will say. However, this body does not ever eat fat. So for me, it was a lot of fat. And I was just really happy with noticing how much more resilient I am with things and how I can, I don't, it's, I don't want to say it like this, but like I was able to get away with it. I can't think of a better way to say it. I was able to get away with it. But I also knew that I'm not going to like keep doing that thing because I can be a slippery slope person. A lot of times if I let something in and I'll just be like, well, I'll just have it the next day too or whatever. And then I will continue to let myself have something and 
in it until it's to my detriment. And for me, because I'm just, I'm so sensitive to the needs of my body now, and I've really learned how to listen to what my body is asking for and what it needs and not ignore its signals and not just be like, oh, it's fine and just put up with certain things. I really enjoy the feeling good and so I wanna keep it that way. So it helps to keep me from going down that slippery slope. So that was really cool. I was able to indulge for a day and not overindulge in anything. I never, I didn't eat anything to the point of like making myself sick. Like, I don't mean that. <laughs> I didn't eat anything to the point of um, feeling like, oh, I shouldn't have had that, you know, that kind of thing. I just was able to have like, I just, I wanted to taste them. I'm like, I want to have the taste. And so I had the taste and then I stopped. I was just able to have a little bit and I'm really happy about that. And now back to the cleanse, back to cleansing, back to eating in a way that really supports my body in every way so that I can just keep feeling good and keep feeling better. And when I say that, understand that it's not something I'm like, oh, now I have to go back. It's not like that at all. It's, for me, that's freedom. For me, that's like, now I get to go back. Now I get to go back to that. So I tried this to see what was like for me to do that because I wanted to know, could I do this? Yeah, I can do this a little bit. It's okay. And I can enjoy these safe treats and then notice that I don't want to keep doing that because of how it would make my body feel if I kept doing that. So I want to keep my momentum going and keep, keep on healing and keep on feeling better. So I'm excited to go back to how I normally eat and I love the simplicity of it because I've been just cooking nonstop for, you know, the holiday meals and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, I'm so done with that. It's also a little difficult for me because our kitchen is so tiny because we are staying in my in-laws house while we look for a house and have been for over a year now. And our kitchen is a wet bar, a converted wet bar that, you know, we put in a bigger sink finally, just recently. And we use a toaster oven to cook in and the instant pot don't have a stove. But we can, if we really need to, we can use the stove upstairs and we can use the oven upstairs. I just, it's just easier to cook everything where you can access it and don't have to run up and down stairs. But for sure on Christmas, I did, when I was preparing all the stuff for Christmas, I did go into the room where all our stuff is being stored in boxes. And I dug out my stock pot, my big stock pot, so that I could make the liver rescue broth. And I'm really happy that I did that. Because, and then I did use the stove upstairs, but it's the first time in a year since we've been here that I've used the stove upstairs. So the beautiful thing is my legs all healed up. I'm done cooking for the holidays, mostly. Might make one more batch of cookies because I want, I don't want, because I bought those raspberries for a very specific purpose and I want to make them. <laughs> but I might, there's also this recipe Medical Medium has for these balls. You know what? I might make those. Because those also involve like the raspberry jam. And then they're coated with freeze dried raspberries, which I do have. Oh, I might make those. Mmm. Mmm. I'll have to look for the recipe. Anyway, so I might have a little bit more or something that I'm going to make, but then that'll be it. <laughs> and me, I'm going on that cleanse tomorrow. I just felt the need to do that update and say with all of you, I hope you had the best holiday you could have possibly had, all things considered. I know it is such a hard and heavy time for everyone right now. I'm feeling it. You're feeling it. How could you not feel it? How could you be alive on the planet and not feel it right now? Every It's like really, it's tough. And 
before Christmas and leading up to Christmas, I was like playing Christmas music nonstop on my playlist and feeling really like, okay, we're gonna, this is gonna be something, it's something to look forward to. We need something to look forward to. We need every little bit of cheer and joy and positivity and goodness and light that we can have in this world today, right now. Everybody does because it's just, it's a, it's a lot. Everything that's going on, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. And now that the, it's like, it's over, Christmas is over and I'm a little bit feeling like, now what? Now what do we do? <sighs> and the answer is just keep going. Try as hard as you can not to listen to the news. I know you get it through osmosis, like if you ever use social media or the computer for anything, um, the internet, <laughs> it just, it comes at you. And the moon is going to be full tomorrow. So here's what I do. I keep using the medical medium meditations. I have been doing the moon meditation every single night without fail, even though my bedtime has been ridiculous and I keep missing or almost missing the whole entire healing sleep window of between 10 and two, as far as being asleep or even in bed. I keep staying up way too late. I'm not getting enough sleep or I'm not sleeping at the right time. I sleep late too. <laughs> so I guess I get probably enough sleep, but it's, you know, there's that healing window that's really important that I keep missing. So my sleep schedule has been way off. I have no sense of time. Things just feel really weird and heavy and introspective and quiet. So I use the medical medium healing meditations. I use that moon meditation. I've been listening to Alyssa Delgatti's incredible song, Angel of Mercy, which reminds us to use the angels that medical medium has talked about in his first book, medical medium secrets behind chronic and mystery illness and how to finally heal or a second book <laughs> life-changing foods the most angels are listed in those two books and i you know keep using the angels talking to the angels asking for support and for help and knowing that they're there and it helps me sometimes when i'm really struggling to actually visualize them wrapping their wings around me a friend of mine suggested that to me once and i have used it ever since and i because of that visualization it really helps it also helps to just see them doing whatever you're asking them to do to sort of visualize them doing whatever you're asking them to do it just sort of helps solidify that they're there and for me the angels send me numbers to let me know that they're around me they also send me birds, hummingbirds and stuff like that. Oh, here's another thing, speaking of birds, that I do to keep my spirits, to keep a light heart, to keep my spirits up, is I've got the window bird feeders on my window and I put food out for the birds on the patio table. I've got a little container of food and then I sprinkle food around it because the birds like to eat in different ways. Some of them like to use the container the squirrels like to use the container but some of the birds prefer to be on the ground. So I sprinkle seed on the ground and I sprinkle worms on the ground. I got, I get them these big bags of mealworms and I sprinkle them all out because you get more birds and different kinds of birds if you add protein stuff. I need to find a source of dried fruit too. Anyway, so I sprinkle food all out there. I put it in the feeder. So I put it on, on all different levels so that wherever the birds are comfortable, that's where they can eat. If they want to be up on the table, great. They eat on the table. The warblers and the finches really like the table. The cardinal sometimes comes on the table. The bluebirds will come on the table because that's where I sprinkle the worms the most. But I also put them on the ground too. Um, so I get all these wonderful birds and I will just watch them and videotape them and post those videos on my Instagram and show them to you here so that you can enjoy them as well because oh my gosh my birds make me so happy i mean they're not my birds but i call them my birds because they're the birds that come to eat at my house and there was this pair of morning doves and i haven't seen them since they were here one day and i don't know where they went 
because they haven't been here since. I'm like, come back. I freaking love morning doves. They're so welcome here. I want them to come. But I do keep seeing new birds and that's really awesome. <sighs> so those are the things I do to buoy my spirit. And of course, getting outside in nature as much as possible when it's not too freezing cold, but it's getting really cold right now. Oh, I just ordered myself a new rebounder. Uh, the kind me medical medium recommends the rebound air because I have like an old, you know, personal trampoline. I don't even know the brand. It doesn't matter. It's like I got it from a friend. So I've never even seen it in new condition, but it seems like kind of like it doesn't have a lot of bounce to it. And my son won't even use it because and he loves bouncing and he won't even use it because he's like, eh, it's too stiff and it doesn't have good balance and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Because I was thinking about getting a trampoline for outside for him, but there's not enough space to put a full size trampoline. So I was looking at like six foot ones, but then they were out of stock. And then I thought, what if I just get like a better indoor one? Maybe that'll be enough. So I ended up ordering the good kind. So that'll be exciting. And also because I have not, I was rebounding like every day and I was doing really good at it. And then I had my surgery and that was back in February. And that might've even been January, like the end of January. And I haven't rebounded since. And I'm like, I need to be rebounding again because again, my energy is better when I do and I feel better and it lifts my spirits. It's another way to lift my spirits. And so I ordered one. Late Christmas present? Sure, we'll call it that. My other Christmas present that I bought for myself was <laughs> um, a heated outdoor bird bath so that the birds will have a source of water as the weather, you know, it's everything else is freezing up. They will have a place to drink and bathe if they want to. So I bought that for myself for Christmas. <laughs> I mean, my husband got it for me for Christmas. We do this weird thing in our house where all of us just pick out what we want and my husband and I just kind of buy our own gifts and then we wrap them and give them to each other. like. I buy what I want, he buys what he wants, and then we, we give them, we wrap them, and we're like, oh, what a surprise, it's exactly what I wanted. It's just easier that way. <laughs> I know that takes all the fun out of it, but then we also do make sure that we buy stuff that we wouldn't normally get. So, uh, anyway, we like it, it works for us. So how is your holiday? How is it going? And it's just a hard time right now. Like, I don't even know what to say. I know probably a lot of people aren't even like on YouTube right now or social media. I know they're not because I've noticed it, the drop because I am. <laughs> I am a little bit. I'm not even as much like I feel like I can't. I don't know everything just feels so much harder to do like make a post put up a video edit a video it feels like everything's all about just sort of survive survival tasks right now anyway is anyone else having that experience I kind of feel like the answer is yes because the people I've talked to yeah we're all kind of going through that so let me know if you are or what how you're doing if anyone's even watching this video <laughs> Um, I probably won't post another video before the new year. So, and let's hope I even get this posted before the new year. So happy new year. And I pray to God and all the angels and Jesus and everything <laughs> that 2021 is good and better for everyone. And that this heaviness lifts. I love you, my healers and health seekers. Stay curious, stay strong, stay in the light. Do your best to keep a light heart, find joy wherever you can find. Just lose yourself in those moments. You know, 
spend five minutes standing in front of your bird feeders videotaping it like I did today. <laughs> I wish you all the prayers and blessings on your continued healing journey and I wish you the best and I love you and I will see you next time.